Capital expenditures refer to the purchase of assets such as property, equipment, or software, which are used to maintain or increase the scope of companies' operations in the long term, and thus need to be capitalized, which requires depreciating the cost of the asset over its useful life. From the user perspective, it could not get any easier. Right from the home page, with a single click, your users can access a simple data entry form, which this is just an example of, and key in as many asset additions as needed, leveraging both row and cell level annotations. For each asset, from the drop-down menu, you can assign the asset class, which defines the depreciation schedule, whether it's straight line, double declining, or any other depreciation method. We can also provide some additional information such as type, priority, or any other attribute. And of course, enter the cost of the asset in the proper month of purchase. And if the depreciation start date is different from purchase date, we do support the concept of production date. So you could have an additional field to enter the exact date when you want to start depreciating your asset. Now below you can see that right away Tegetic will recap your asset balance by asset class and as soon as you click on save, an in-memory calculation will be triggered through the Tegetic CapEx engine which will immediately calculate the impact for the projected life to date balance sheet depreciation as well as the projected monthly P&L depreciation. And of course, the sum of monthly P&L depreciation will always equal the negative year-to-date balance sheet depreciation number. So the beauty of the Tegetic CapEx engine is that in a guided fashion, both on the admin and user side, you can set up and run these complex calculations without the need of any custom coding or crazy Excel formulas. Only some simple inputs from your end users.